welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. This week I'm going to take you through my getting ready routine for a wedding. I was lucky enough to be invited to a very intimate wedding of a good friend of mine and I'm going to show you what I do with my hair, what I do with my makeup and my outfit right at the end. So I will link my hair care routine down below, but basically I've just washed my hair um, and just blitzed it dry with my GHD hair dryer. Now I don't do anything particular with my hair, I just keep it simple, but when I'm getting a bit more dressed up I do like to curl my hair. As you can see I'm sectioning off my hair, again I don't use any fancy grips or anything, I just tie half of it up and let a bit down as I go. Now to curl my hair, as you can see, I use the GHD Curve and I really love this because I have really quite naturally straight hair um, so if I have curly hair then it drops out quite quickly and I've used curling tongs and all sorts but it just doesn't last, it looks good for about an hour and then it's flat. This is the one product that I have found that really holds my curls for a long period of time and it looks really good throughout the day. So again, very simple, I just take a section of hair, not too thick, because I do have quite thick hair anyway. Um, I wrap it around the wand and then leave it for about 10 seconds until I can feel the heat coming through my hair. Hold the curl in my hand whilst it cools a little bit and as you can see there I just release it once my hair has cooled. I have seen girls that clip their hair up, but to be honest, that's too much of a faff for me. I'm a simple kind of girl, and this works for me, and it doesn't take me too long either. So like I said earlier, as I complete one section of my hair, I'll let a little bit more out of my bun, um, and then continue to curl the rest of my hair. As I let down my final piece of hair, I like to keep my front bits out and I don't like to curl those because I have these sections here that are a little bit shorter um, so I try and keep them out because I will straighten them once I finish curling all of my hair. I just like how it looks with those straight strands swept back off my face. As you may have already noticed I haven't done my makeup yet. I do like to do my hair first and my makeup second purely because I've got such thick hair and a lot of it that I tend to get really hot when I'm doing my hair so I don't like to have my makeup all done and then start getting sweaty with it. I like to do my hair first and then I'll go on to my makeup. So first up with my makeup I'm going in with a tinted skin shade which I love because it has SPF 50 in it and it gives you coverage too and I'm using this short stubby kabuki brush to apply it in circular motions and because I have a few blemishes um, it's that time of the month again um, I like to dab it over those areas as well. It obviously goes without saying that everything I'm using on my face today is Tropic skincare and all natural, vegan and cruelty free. This colour is light medium that I'm using in the tinted skin shade as well. Next up I'm going in with Aluma which is our beautiful brightening concealer and this is in shade Latte. I just placed this under my eyes um, to hide those dark tired circles. Then to cover any blemishes or uneven skin tone, um, I also like to use this just in areas where I like a little bit of extra coverage and like I said to even out my skin tone. This is the Cream Concealer and this is in shade Macadamia. Then once I look like this, I will take my beauty sponge and my vitamin toner pore refining mist which I love to spray on my beauty sponge to dampen it and then I will dab in my concealer and blend it all in nicely so it doesn't look blotchy on my face as it does now. That was me just giving the vitamin toner a quick sniff because I love how it smells so refreshing of cucumbers and it's just beautiful. particular attention when I'm blending this in around my nose because I don't like when you get the crease of concealer um, in the creases of your nose. Next up I'm using Soft Focus again in shade light and this is a beautiful powder that I love to use to take that shine away. 
this is the full kabuki uh, full coverage kabuki brush as well and it's just super soft and it's just a real dream to apply this soft finishing powder Um, I like to suck in my cheeks um, to find where I want to put my bronzer. I also like putting it on the top of my forehead and I do put a little bit down my neck as well. This is shade Barley Bronze. For my bronzer I was using this face precision brush. Um, for my blusher I just spin it round, use the other end and use the cream blush in shade Coral Bloom which I really love and I use it to death. Now I'm just using my finger to apply the cream highlighter in shade Sunrise. I just pop this on the top of my cheekbones and I also like to apply it on the bridge of my nose and also on my cupid's bow, so the top of my lip. It really highlights those areas and when the sun hits it, which we were lucky enough to have a sunny day on the day of this wedding, then it, it really sets it off. Next up I'm going in with my brows. As always I use my favourite brush, um, I use this end, the spoolie end, to just brush up my brows, tidy them up because they are in serious need of some TLC, and then I use the other end to apply my Willow Bark, that's the shade of the brow pomade from my palette. And I really like this because it gives a natural look but fills in the gaps that I have in my brows from previously having them microbladed. Quick water break. This is thirsty work, getting ready for a wedding. So I'm going in with my eyeshadow now. So first of all I apply oatmeal all over my eyelid and I also like to apply a little bit under my brow, on my brow bone, just again to sort of highlight that area when the sun hits me. Then I'm going in with this sort of shimmery pink colour and using the pointy end of this um, eyeshadow brush. and. I'm no professional when it comes to eyeshadow, again I like to keep it simple, but I basically use this brush to apply the shade Aura into the crease of my eye, and then I sort of do a sideways V, and then I use the other end to blend it all in. Again nothing too fancy, but just give me a pop of colour, and as I have a bit of pink in my dress I thought I'd go for a lovely pinky colour. gel liner it has a nice little sharpener on the end as well which is really handy I just do this in stages a little bit at a time so as not to go too wrong but this pencil is a dream to use and really glides on nice and easily just to give my eyes that bit more of a defined look following this I'm going in with a fix and gel mascara in shade black I apply this to my lashes and then follow it up with the extension fibres. I wanted a bit more vava boom with my lashes today as I am going to a wedding so I just apply the fibres to the tips of my eyelashes and then go in again with another coat of the fixing gel mascara just to seal them in and give me that false lash effect look. Now for lips, I am using the lip liner in shade Stripped and I'll just line this all around my lips and then the colour in the Kiss Me Quick lipstick that I'm going for today again is a lovely pinky colour and this is Peony Pop. I absolutely love this shade, it's so pretty. And there we go, that is my makeup complete. I will then go back to my hair as I've just sort of let my curls settle all cool and I'm going to go back and straighten those front bits that I mentioned at the start just to give it a nice frame around my face. my 
front pieces of hair, I will then try and loosen off my curls and the best way I find to do this is to throw my head upside down, shake off my hair and loosen off those curls. I don't like them to look too tight or perfect, I like them to look loose um, and just a little rough around the edges and just a more natural look. please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as I bring a new video every Sunday and I'd love to see you here for more. Bye for now!